when we were coming into this year, I told you prophetically that this year is going to be tough. Am I correct? Go and check it. It's on YouTube. And I said, things are not going to be better like you think. And I said to you that I'm not a prophet of doom. But what I'm seeing is not going to be the way you are intending to see it. Our leaders at the central level mean, mean well for this nation. But you see, the forces that have always take the steering from the hands of the professional driver are at work again. There's no leader who come to power in this country who does not want to do something for this country. In fact, the agenda, how they are planning it, yes, there is always a force. They might not agree with me now. They will see first year, second year, third year, fourth year. Have you ever seen where a driver is driving and then the steering becomes stiff or it starts rotating unnecessarily? Let's keep praying for our leaders. What I saw, if our leaders will pray hard and not think about just economic expert. There is a force, a spirit that controls anyone who is the number one. Once you enter that asshole rock there, I'm talking as a prophet, we might look useless. Once we enter there, the rest I leave it, God is going to help us. If you think things are going to get better, please buckle up. Um, please buckle up. In fact, if you are wearing canvas, look for army boots. I'm not a prophet of doom. So that when it now get to the time, when it will not get better, you will not be relieved. Now, I can tell you, you know, I'm trying to, to press through 2025 and 2026. I'm still seeing thick cloud, and I'm not seeing clarity. And I'm praying to get clarity. And when I get clarity, I will share with you. Our great leaders should not be overconfident. They should be very careful so that the good will God has given them should not become a wind in the other way.